Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm in the woods here at Stoke Park in Bristol and this is a place where I've grown up all my life in here and um, I was stopped by somebody earlier as I was walking around the, the woods and, and a lady said to me oh, people are cutting big trees down and she was quite concerned about it so I've come to have a look at it and I found what I think is the tree so I want to play nature detectives with you guys to see if we can work out what was the cause of this tree's demise? Let's go and play tree nature detective, shall we? Let's go. So here's the tree. This is it here. Look, you see that massive tree that's gone over just there? That's an ash tree. So if we walk around it, let's see what the clues are. Looking at it, it looks like it's been burnt out in the middle at an initial glance. You see it in there, all that blackening. So, but that's not been cut, I'll tell you that now. <clears throat> that's not been cut. Inside the tree, it looks... So, what we're looking at here, this has been hollowed out. And if we look up here, there's a really good clue here. Can you see the structure of the wood's different? From that there to that there. You see the difference? So, this is what you call wood punk. And there's only one thing that causes that, and that is fungal mycelium because it's very loose, look, it's rotten. Look at that, look. And then further on, you can see it there. You see the structure, the change of the structures there. So if I follow that down, I can see something in here called spalting. Can you see that black line there? Let's see if I can get a close up for you guys. Can you see that? You see these black lines? This is called spalting. And this is only caused by Fungal mycelium, and if I follow this back down, spalting is really interesting because uh, when you get mushrooms like that and then meet another species of mushroom, the mycelium, they build a defensive wall around themselves, like you can see it here, look, you see that there? And that black line is made from melamine, which is what you get in your skin. And if I follow it straight down, I think I have found the culprits to the demise of this tree there. There's one there. And there's one there, and look at the state of the wood. That is definitely, and there's one here, look at that. There you go. This is a, a mushroom called the Artist Bracket Fungi. Also one of the Ganoderma family. And they are very well known for, as being tree killers. So that's what's happened to that tree guys, it's been killed by fungi. And it's weakened it so much that the recent winds and storms that we've had have just knocked it over and it's fallen over. So there you go. This is not human action by any means. This is caused by fungi. Mushrooms are very powerful creatures. Well, they're not creatures, but they're very powerful because they've got the ability to bring down large mature trees. It's really interesting, isn't it? So there you go. That's the culprit. Fungal mycelium. The artist bracket fungi responsible for killing that big ash tree there. And it'll be the fungal mycelium that's going to return that tree back into the forest floor and provide nutrients for future trees. They're recyclers. Without fungi in a woodland environment, you wouldn't have anything uh, like what you see now. It wouldn't be very healthy. So we have a lot to thank fungal mycelium for. Anyway, nature detectives. Case closed. Woo! Fungi.